Dreading the thought of spending your entire summer break planning for next school year? Worry no more. In today's episode, I'm going to reveal seven tips for effective back to school planning that will leave you with plenty of time to relax and recharge. Stay tuned. What's kicking, educational rock stars? Welcome back to another episode of Teaching Made Easy, where I strive to bring you practical tips, inspiring stories, simple classroom systems that actually work, and expert insights to help you become a more effective and confident K-5 teacher. I'm your host, Farah, the Center Fairy, and in each episode, we'll explore a different aspect of teaching from lesson planning and classroom management to student engagement and professional development. If this is your first time joining me here on the channel, be sure you hit that like and that subscribe button and click that bell so that you get notified when I go live or upload a new video here on the channel. This week, we're chatting all about back to school, but the things that you can do prior to the end of the school year to prep for that. So grab your favorite beverage, turn the volume up, and get ready to be inspired and empowered. Let's dive in. First things first, let's take a moment to look back at the past school year. Grab a notebook and jot down your successes, jot down your challenges, and jot down your key takeaways. This is your chance to learn from the experiences that you've had this year and use that knowledge to make the upcoming year even better. Be honest with yourself and don't be afraid to celebrate the wins that you did have. Think about systems that worked and those that didn't. Start making notes on systems and procedures that you want to tweak or completely change for next year. This reflection is going to help guide your planning process and ensure that you are on the right track. Now that you've reflected on the past year, it's time to set some goals for the new school year. What do you want to accomplish in terms of academics? Maybe you need to work on classroom management. Maybe it's student engagement. Write down your objectives and then prioritize them, focusing on what's most important. Break these goals down into actionable steps so that you have a clear roadmap to follow throughout the year. Perhaps your center management system didn't function well this year and you found yourself struggling to teach in small groups. Maybe this happened because of constant interruptions or off-task students. Maybe your organization methods weren't really working and you were constantly looking for materials. Think about what each of your systems needs in order to provide that end goal and then prioritize which ones need overhauling. Now, To help you get those math and literacy centers organized, I have created a guide that includes three easy, simple steps, and the best part is the fabulous labels that you need to make them cute are included. You can check the description for the link and grab the guide so that you can knock this system off your to-do list. With your goals in mind, let's tackle your curriculum materials. Review and update your lesson plans, the resources, and your assessments to align with your new objectives. Organize these materials in a way that makes sense for you, whether that's digitally or in physical binders. By having everything organized and easily accessible, you're going to save time and energy when the new school year begins. Since you're setting up your math and literacy centers organized now, how about grabbing some new activities for them? If you are having trouble with your students staying engaged and on task during centers, our center activity bundles have you covered. They're available for grades K through 5, and we have holiday centers, non-holiday centers, printable and digital, and all of our centers are created from predictable game styles that help students learn how to play them, and then they have success working independently while you teach in small groups. Are you worried about checking their learning? No problem. Our centers come with exit tickets to help you assess their learning so that you can adjust your teaching if needed. Check the link in the description for more information. One of the best ways to enhance your planning process is to collaborate with your fellow teachers. Reach out to your colleagues and schedule a time before the end of school year so that you can meet and share your ideas for next year. You'll likely discover new strategies that'll make your life easier, and it's a great way to foster a supportive work environment. Now let's talk about scheduling. Create a rough outline of your daily and weekly routines for the upcoming school year, and this is going to help you stay on track and prevent any last minute scrambling. Keep in mind that this is a schedule that should be flexible, allowing for adjustments as needed. Remember, the goal is to find balance, so be prepared to adapt as the year unfolds. Now, your summer break is the perfect opportunity to invest in your own professional growth. 
consider attending conferences, workshops, or even enrolling in online courses to stay current on the best practices and new teaching strategies. Not only will this keep you inspired and motivated, but it'll also help you bring fresh ideas to your classroom in the fall. Now, I have some amazing trainings coming up this summer, and you can check out all the details in the description below. Last but not least, it's essential to establish a healthy work-life balance during summer break. Set boundaries for your work by allocating specific times for planning and preparation. Make sure to also schedule time for self-care, relaxation, and enjoy your favorite hobbies. A well-rested and recharged teacher is a more effective teacher. These seven expert tips will help you strike the perfect balance between back-to-school planning and enjoying your summer break. Remember, Preparation is essential, but so is taking care of yourself and making time for your relaxation. By following these tips, you'll be well prepared for the upcoming school year while still enjoying a refreshing summer vacation. Now, if you're looking for more tips, strategies, and simple systems to take back into your classroom to make your teacher life a little easier, check out the other videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and keep being an educational rock star.